Like all airlines, Kenya Airways reported record losses in 2020. A year earlier, the Kenyan national carrier had celebrated the highest ever passenger haul, but which dropped by over 60% to 2.4 million as the pandemic crashed travel demand. The situational overview of the pandemic led the airline to create the Fahari Innovation Hub in mid-2021 to help accelerate the development of the aviation industry and tackle some of the current and future challenges. The catalyst for all these, I would say, was when we gazetted um, uh, the ARPAS regulations uh, from KCA. So when the Cabinet Secretary for Transport gazetted the same, it meant that drones could be used legally in Kenya by civilian players. With drones proving to be a revolution in the modern world, the airline industry has an eye on the new technology for small cargo deliveries that is quick, easy to handle, and sustainable for short distances. So what that meant is now we could um, flesh out our idea. So what happened that we went through uh, technical and um, um, commercial feasibility study of what drones really mean. It's one thing to have a drone technology, a drone as a tool, but it's another thing to make it commercially viable. So that's a process we went through. And uh, additionally, KQ was looking at diversifying uh, part of our revenue streams. We had relied so much on passenger uh, revenues. But here came an opportunity where we could diversify beyond passenger cargo uh, um, maintenance and ancillary revenues, we could go all the way and introduce a whole new technology. Fahari Aviation currently offers different types, sizes, capabilities, and mission-oriented drones like fixed-wing drones, multi-rotor drones, and more. The initial focus is delivering pharmaceuticals, critical medical supplies, followed by humanitarian, and then comes general parcels. Plans are underway for human transportation. Uh, that space is still uh, in its uh, uh, formation, so technology is still being uh, tried and tested. Uh, so that it can be put out there, uh, um, can be certified, and then people can, uh, uh, can get onto it and use it for uh, urban air mobility. So we do foresee that um, the current market trends indicate uh, a timeline of around 2025, 2026, 28, about when we will see a lot of um, uh, what you'd call manned e-vitals, electrical, vertical, and talk of uh, vehicles coming into the market. And then with that technology advancing and with certification coming into play and regulators getting comfortable, infrastructure being developed around it, uh, the various safety and security um, uh, considerations being fully explored, uh, we do see that there is a time where we will have unmanned air mobility. Cutting edge technologies such as autonomous devices and ultralight materials are out to create opportunities to transform the mobility system by enabling new business models and mobility services. Nick Modimba, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.